Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to the Utame Cross Gacha video. This time round, well, it's all about Melane. So let's dive into the Gacha because right now, as of this point of time, Melane's new event is here and, well, her costume is unlockable via episode plates from the event itself. So it's not really necessary for you to pull her Gacha, but you know, for those who can afford the 300 singing stone discounted uh, first pool, it is always you know, recommended to do so because it is discounted after all and will definitely give you a higher chance to unlock her costume without the needed use of excessive amount of episode orbs uh, if you guys don't have the uh, singing stone and of course the luck to pull her gacha but of course, why do you need her costume? Uh, it's got to do everything with the Macross Crossover Live Matsuri missions that is currently going on. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Milane's missions are here as you can tell. And you need her crossover friend costume. So I, I have no idea why her costume is called friend. But you know, I don't know, maybe because Milane kind of friend zone Basara and Gumlin? Oh, right in the heart. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the her costume name crossover friend. And of course, if you guys want to know what the missions are, basically you just have to use Milane wearing that costume. And of course, play Dakero Baby. Now, the thing about this particular mission is, um, the event song is new. So you have to kind of clear this mission before the event ends. If not, you probably might not be able to clear it unless the song is used in next month's daily event songs that you get your resources from. So that's kind of risky to assume that it might be used in next month's selection. So. I recommend you to try and unlock the costume before the end of this event and of course make sure you use Milane as your uh, diva and of course have her wear her crossover friend costume to clear this mission. If not, you know, the other song is basically uh, Totsugeki Love Heart duet version which is already a permanent song within the lineup of songs within the time and cross itself so no problem there for the second song but of course make sure you try to get it done for Dakedo Baby uh, which is the current event song itself so let's take a look at Milane's episode plate and to see how well um, the plate is set up in terms of usefulness for high score purposes or maybe it's used for something else like mission clearing and that kind of stuff so let's take a look all right so oh we're on the second page so melee's episode plate comes with an active skill to recover hp so we can tell straight away it's supposed to be used as a life skill support for high score purposes so life skill s rank combo bonus so melee's episode plate is the second episode plate within Ultima Macross that has this brand new life skill uh, similar to what Mikumo had. Mikumo's however was a blue element plate while Melane is the first for the uh, star element or the uh, yellow element episode plate whichever you want to call it by. So if you guys are still not familiar with what this life skill does, basically for 10 seconds, for every 50 combo notes you have stored up, let's say for example you've gotten yourself about 300 combos, so you basically multiply 35% times 6 because 300 divided by 50, so that's, that's basically times 6 of the multiplier of 35%. So yeah. That's a pretty good high score bonus if you ask me. But the problem is, this high, uh, this life skill is like a double edged sword. If you kind of break your combo midway, uh, yeah, it's it's just going to end up like zero times thirty five percent. So basically, you activating your life skill is meaningless. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, guys. 
So that's pretty much it for Milane's uh, life skill, I would say, explanation. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, Dakedo Baby, even though, as we have seen, if you guys are Macross fans, definitely if you guys are not Macross fans, why are you watching my video? <laughs> so Dakedo Baby is a pretty short ending theme song uh, on the TV series. However, in Uta Macross, we kind of get a slightly extended version because of the opening instrumental portion. So, Takedo Baby ends up being a slightly longer duration song than what we have seen in the TV version of the ending theme. So, that's why this episode played uh, is hinting that Takedo Baby is kind of like a long duration Macross 7 song. Alright, so move on to the next page. No special notes attached to the episode play itself, but we still can't gauge what kind of tiering position this episode play is until we see the total score. So let's move on to the next page. 3,593 total score focusing on voice. Basically, that's what you need for Dakedo Baby to get a good high score. Um, I would say the total score is pretty mediocre plus that it does come with a very good life skill but still very situational so i would still rate milane's episode play to be around the mid tier level i wouldn't give a, a specific numbering yet uh, because i'm still in the midst of uh building up the entire list of current episode plates within the time across under a tier system so i'll say it's a mid tier uh, not exactly a must-have episode plate. Definitely, if you do get it, it is definitely nice to have it in your collection itself. It might come useful uh, along down the line, maybe in future events or in future songs that are long duration that you can probably full combo without struggling too much. So yeah, um, with all this said, I wouldn't say you have to throw in the um, total amount of singing stones you have within your arsenal right now or even your extra cash that you can actually use to buy singing stone packs and all this kind of stuff. Uh, hold back on it, Milane's episode plate is pretty okay but not a really must have. Uh, it's always good to at least pull the first discounted template pool um, because it's going to help you unlock her costume with a bit of ease uh, if you guys don't really want to play the event too hardcore uh, by trying to get those free episode plates from the event itself. Alright, so let's do this guys. One single template pool for Melane and hopefully enough, uh, she might bless me with some costume points. Oh, we do get some loading there. A bit of a decent loading speed. So that might hint to something good. Here we go. So, one Valkyrie. Not a very nice visual sight, but you know, sometimes they don't really uh, fully indicate the kind of luck you might have with the gacha. Alright, moving along with all the common stuff. Hopefully, the two red boxes, one of them might evolve. Ooh! Okay, so we do get new episode plates for costume points for Melane's crossover friend costume. Oh. So the first red box didn't evolve. Okay, here we go. No evolution on this as well. Oh, so both red boxes didn't give anything new for Melane's gacha, but we did get a common episode plate that is brand new. So that's okay. It does give us a bit more costume points uh, to help ease the situation in terms of unlocking her costume. But still, far from what we need, you know, uh, 1200 points to unlock your full costume. This, this episode play itself will definitely not give you that 1200 points. So that's kind of a bummer. Alright, so anyway guys, that's it for Melane's Gacha. As always, leave a like to this video if you appreciate the content and of course, uh, share this video to all your Utah Macross playing friends who are still in the game, uh, going strong, 
because your love for Macross is still burning like Basara's passionate scene. And until then guys, I will see you guys in the next Uta Macross Gacha video. Bye!